This time we're going to look at great tits. Huh? Well, okay, that's a heron. But we all know what a great tit looks like, don't we? But there's a traffic cone in this story. And there it is. So maybe we should call this the great tits and the traffic cone. This traffic cone had been placed here by the boss to stop me knocking this fence post down while I was parking the car. One day I happened to notice this great tit sat on top of the traffic cone. And I thought, well I hope they're not thinking of building a nest in there, the young ones will never get out. So I tried to have a look inside it but couldn't see anything. So I lifted it up only to find this. Yes, a nest which they must have been working on for weeks. So I put the cone back over the nest and kept an eye on it. Now then, look who's here. Now where's he gonna go next? Is he really gonna go into that traffic cone, do you reckon? Well, he's certainly coming down into this area. He's being very cautious. I suppose if you do live in a traffic cone, you don't particularly want everybody to see you going into it. Or perhaps he's just sat there looking for something else. Oh. No, here he goes. It's beginning to look as though they've got some eggs in there now. He seems to be going to this feeding station rather frequently. And as we know, when you get back to near the nest you've got to be very careful, very cautious, make sure nobody's watching and if you are watching you have to be very very patient. Just in case you're not sure what the difference is between a great tit and a blue tit I thought this little picture might help a bit the blue tit is on the left, of course, and the great tit is on the right. Perhaps he's now waiting for a signal from his boss. Just check this way now, make sure nobody's spying on me. Come on, then. Let's get in the cone. It's a good boy. The bird doing most of this singing is a chaffinch and perhaps he's watching as well. Now then, did you hear those two short tweets there? He's obviously asking for instructions from inside the cone. At about 14 centimetres, the great tit is about the size of a house sparrow and is the largest member of the tit family. Great tits may be found anywhere in the British Isles and there are about three million pairs. And if you're still watching, can I congratulate you on your patience? Just have a last check now. I'm told that great tits can sometimes be seen going around in small groups, although I've never seen that. Whereas long-tailed tits are often seen in little groups, as we shall see. Chaffinch. Chaffinch.
Great tits usually nest in a hole or cavity in a tree or building or in a traffic cone. They can live up to about 13 years old. And in the course of time we were fortunate enough to see this. Blimey, this is a big place out here. You can say that again. Blimey, this is a big place out here. And then after a few days of seeing nothing, we assumed they'd all gone. So the birds were right after all. They successfully raised the family and got them all out. <laughs>